morning. Uh, right, we well, haven't been here for a while, so I'll just talk you through what we're going to do today. Um, okay, the arrangement that the flats are going to be split into, this is the downstairs one, we're on the ground floor. This was the old, I don't know, kitchen slash bathroom. Very strange, very strange. But uh, it's now going to be just the kitchen with a dining area, maybe here, or kitchen that end, dining this end, I don't, I don't really know. But if we fast forward now to the top of the house, uh, the very top room on this side is going to be a bathroom. So in order to do that, we need hot and cold water, electricity, and a waste pipe. Now, I don't know if you remember, probably unless you've joined me sooner um, than, well, I suppose this year, really. This was the old waste pipe for, um, I think that was for the basin. That was for the toilet. And then they had some arrangement here for the shower and what we're going to do is cut open up this floor here a bit more in fact do a big square there dig down remove some of that stuff cut this gray pipe and get it out of the way get rid of this black pipe which is the overflow for the old hot water heater which we don't need anymore yeah so get rid of that and uh, get rid of this which was a water pipe to the outside which you don't really need at the moment I'm gonna do something different for that this and this these are dead this however is the waste pipe for the kitchen above so if you follow this waste pipe, I don't know, we'll probably gonna have to take all this wall out and have a see what's in there, but we follow this, goes up, and then into the kitchen above, uh, bedroom, sorry, above, and then on to the kitchen. So in this corner, we see these pipes here. One, two, they're live, so it's hot and cold. Sorry, one, those two have actually got water in them. Uh, so they need to be moved because we can't get the uh, the 100 mil waste is gonna go across and then up this wall. So we need to get rid of everything in this corner. So that includes this, these pipes, and I'm gonna chop that beam as well. So we're in the room directly above um the kitchen or just or the old kitchen where i've just been you can see these two pipes uh continue on up along with this waste pipe which we're going to salvage as much of this as possible can reuse that um the copper no i'm not going to reuse but i might keep the clips yes this is the next room it comes up in that corner to this sink and then it stops but we want to continue our waste pipe from that corner up there through that ceiling which will poking up through that floor so this must be like take 20 because of the uh, a little rosy doesn't like to uh, not be a uh, center of attention right so hold on first thing we're gonna do first thing we're gonna do is remove this kitchen sink don't want to wash it let's have a look underneath we've got those two two copper pipes we saw and waste pipe.
Tap disconnected. Now, what I need to do is just undo this. So now the problem is we've got two open-ended pipes, so I can't turn the water back on, which means no shower or toilet until I sort that out. So what we need to do is trace these pipes and see if there's an easy way of... Um, and they come down here. Uh, right. And it's these two in this corner because these two uh, from the old downstairs so they run across in that corner still these two here um, which is these two here and then it actually just disappears up so those two there sorry for the light in folks but Dark cupboard go up and then split. So, where do they come from? Right, so we can just see in the, it's these two, and they go along just in, just in, they go along. Down. Hmm. So the water into the house comes through this plastic pipe through the meter, which is broken, to a pressure reducer stopped up. Just does a loop there. Uh, I think that's a surge suppressor up to this T, and then that went down and fed the downstairs. But now it goes up to this one, which is this one, and that goes up to a stop tab, which I'll try and get a picture of. But then it comes back down this one here. So it's just a loop which comes here, and then it goes down to our pipes downstairs so that's the cold to our pipes downstairs so we really could do with capping that one off here somewhere and this is the hot supply down so we could actually just cut them both off here and the problem is i haven't got two 14 mils or a blow lamp what time is it?
that we turn this on I'm hoping that we don't get any water out the taps upstairs and no water comes out of these pipes let's just do it seems all right let's go and check all these pipes are dead now so I'm going to just for the purposes of this just cut the copper there pull the rest out and then chop off that plastic um, yeah just pull it all out really Okay, so here we are. This is where we've got to. So we've got that old kitchen waste that I'm just going to uh, sort of weld a plug on. You can just see, I don't, I don't exactly know where it goes. Um, I think it'll go into the top of this somewhere. Something like this. Kind of thing. Or some combination of that. Right, that's uh, our mark there. You can see that. But if you ever tried to cut a pipe in the ground like this with a normal saw, it's very difficult. So the best method I've found, or the may people may differ, is cut a square out the top and then use a multi-tool to cut from the inside. Right then, that is the hardest bit of this done. <coughs> so we got our pipe, original pipe coming through, is now into this elbow. I had to use a straight connector to get it close to the wall. T-junction here, um, and that's an inspection cover. So that if there's any problems with the drains in the future, then we can have an access panel on the box in here, take that off and we can get him. Uh, it's not glued at the moment because I have to take it apart shortly. But that is our socket and then it goes all the way up through here. So the next thing is we've got to cut the end of that beam off. Obviously if we do that there's a good chance the floor will fall down in that corner when I'm stood on it. So uh, I'm just going to rig in here a temporary support. Okay, that's my first piece in. Uh, luckily, this has got a socket on that end, so I can just keep adding pieces on. But before I go any further now, I'm going to put some clips in. Two per room, so one about here, one about here, I think. But as you can see, let me just get that. 
the wall's not completely straight, but we'll do the best that we can. Um, I've got these clips. Now they're designed to screw onto, hold on, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Right, like these. So you put the screw thread in the wall, and then these screw on. But I'm not gonna do that because this wall, although it's actually quite dry now, we've had damp problems here and some of the things I unscrewed was uh, rusted, were rusted. So I'm going to use this, but instead of having a thread, I'm just gonna screw through there with some um, screws, normal screws into plastic plugs. But these are stainless steel. She loves sunbathing. Follows that line of the shadow. It gets further and further in the sun. But I don't know why, because it's so hot out here. You must be crazy, dog. Morning. So, interesting, because uh, when I left this video, uh, we were just gonna make a cut in this floor, I think to lift up uh, the board and then get our soil stack through. But it's been about, I think two weeks since I was last here. All sorts of stuff, trip to the UK, broken diggers, been to the coast, all, it's been a bit mad. But on the plus side, the weather is lovely, really, really nice. Anyway, it's not gonna help us inside today. So we'll continue doing what we're gonna do this soil stack, lead pipe, whatever you want to call it. If you remember we looked at this last time, look at this craziness that they've already cut. Oh yeah, oh. way more than half that being. Let's have a look. Here we are now, uh, you can see, clip that there, all the way down, and then this will just push over like that when, uh, when I get the clips in up here. But move the tiles, you can see the way this wall is constructed. It's actually, uh, that <coughs> is earth, mud. Huh. Someone's plastered over uh, this stuff and then somebody's painted over the top so that stops the <coughs> damp in the wall getting out two choices here <coughs> with this whole wall um, we can either strip all the plaster well we're going to strip all the plaster off and the paint anyway <coughs> but I think this room would look good with um, exposed stone walls but it means we're pointing <coughs> all the walls with lime. I think that'd look good. Anyway, back to what we're doing. So, look at that. So you remember my other video, um, there was a leak in this corner, which is why this is all, all mold. It's dried out now, as you can see, but it rotted the, the boards. <laughs> And this in this corner, which is where it was dropped down. But this is all coming out anyway, like the uh, video I did in the other room. But let's go up there for now and cut a hole in that floor and see if we can get our pipe down. Mission complete. So we've got that stack in now, clipped. 
there all the way down and there we go so this bit can be removed if we want to it's just in the socket there I haven't clipped this yet because we don't know what we're doing but that's it so that's going to put a bend on it and I think the toilet will probably go just the other to the right of that hole in the wall <clears throat> yeah superb so that's it for this bit of the video uh, next video um, which I'm about to film now is putting a new temporary electrical supply up here and bringing the cold water up so I can just cut everything out um, from the flats down below and then we're self-contained up here so thanks for sticking with me on this one a little bit don't know how technical I suppose but can't put a bathroom in if you don't have a waste pipe yeah if you liked it don't forget to like the video and subscribe maybe share it with someone if uh, you think they'll find that interesting or not but yeah I'll see you on the next one